Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC right here every Sunday morning on WMDT TV 47. Folks, flounder fishing in the back bays of Ocean City is some of the best I've seen in several years. So we are going again. Today it's on the Fishing OC Hooked on OC Carolina skip with my good friend Dave Sikorsky from CCA. We will be right back after the break. Fourth of July flounder fishing. See you in a second. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the boardwalk has the largest selection of sunglasses on the East Coast. Over 800 pairs of coasters, including their new USA models to choose from. Hundreds of Oakley sunglasses, hats, and t-shirts. An enormous collection of Ray-Ban, Smith, Persol, Canon, Revo, and Maui Jim. Quiet Storm Surf Shop has the largest selection of main brand sunglasses. Visit Quiet Storm today. Call Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage whether you are looking to build a new Spencer Sportfish or buy or sell a used Spencer or boat by any other builder. Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage are the right choices for dependable and unbeatable customer service for all your Spencer needs. Building and selling custom outboards, express and sportfish yachts from our 26-foot center console to our 90-foot sport yacht. Call or email us today to become part of the Spencer family. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City Beach and Boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the Mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, pulled it off. Dude. Rookie, rookie, Look rookie. Look at me. Man. I was in between. I was, I was switching between tools, man. My rod's down. Net's ready. Ah! Rookie move. Took the tail. Rat farts. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It looked like a good bend too. Huh? It was. It was a good. It was a good fish. Oh well. Hey, what do you do? Another bait. Let's roll. That's right. Get the deadly double back where it belongs. Yeah, right. Work. Shorty, shorty, shorty. Okay. Okay. A little bit. Sometimes better. it take off. Yeah. Nope. Look at that blade spinning. Look at that. That's right. All right. Shorty. Pretty work. Come on, little guy. There you go, little boy. He works, he looks. It's a tortuga right there, or whatever. Yep, that's exactly what I'm saying. You gotta sometimes get it further down and then come back out as you turn. Right. There we go. Right on. All right, we know he's a shorty. 16 and a half is what we're looking for. This fish is only about 12, I'd say, but. The spot right here has been hot. I think we're in the right spot. We got almost every inshore charter boat in Ocean City down here fishing off of Snug Harbor, right where we keep the boat. So it's a simple little boom paddle out here and we're drifting along with these guys. Party boats are down here, so the fish are here. You're gonna have to weed through some small ones like this to find a 16 and a half, but pretty work, Dave. Thank you, sir. Nice work. Thank you. Bye-bye. Crabs is no good. Oh. oh. Yeah, we don't like crabs. That's 
Once it starts slowing down enough where you're catching crabs, it might be time to renegotiate our fishing technique. I'm allergic to them. Renegotiations? No, I'm allergic to crabs. Oh, me too. <laughs> I take this, I have this lotion that... Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just caught what you were saying. <laughs> Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. There's nothing more exciting than a day of offshore sport fishing. The sun, the sea, and a boatload of your friends trying to land the big one. Ocean City Fishing Center is the area's number one charter fleet with 37 boats sailing out every day looking for the big fish. Tuna, marlin, dolphin, and shark. Every crew that sails is dedicated to your excitement. And all our captains are licensed by the U.S. Coast Guard for your safety. Headboats are also available for family fishing fun. Whether your party is big or small, call Ocean City Fishing Center. Tight lines and good times. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the Dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Check out the savings with Racetrack Auto and Marine. We're your one-stop marine center on Route 589. Racetrack Marine is an authorized Yamaha, Century, and Montego Bay dealer. We broker and buy used boats and offer trailer sales and repair. Take advantage of our winterization stow and go packages and receive a $50 discount. Don't wait to buy your boat. Come see us now for boat show pricing. Racetrack Auto and Marine. Sometimes all you have to do is read the signs. Miller Lite has more taste, fewer calories, and half the carbs of Bud Light. What are you holding? Miller Lite, hold true. At Park Place Jewelers, we believe your true love should be wearing the brightest diamond in the room. Why do seemingly identical diamonds have a 70% difference in price? Park Place Jewelers is introducing the Bright Crystal Diamond, which is scientifically proven to be in the world's top 10% of all the world's brightest natural diamonds. Come into Park Place Jewelers and find out why from virtual reality to third-party validation and a GIA grading report, we will provide more buyer education and instill confidence in our customers that the Bright Crystal Diamond they are buying is a world-class diamond. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Hooked on OC. If you watch us during the summertime, you know every single show we start at the Quiet Storm Surf Shop, downtown Ocean City. Two other locations, 75th Street and 123rd. And Pure Lure Gear has been a real hot seller for them this summer. Thank you all very much for coming in and asking for it by name. They've got some great new products. It's been coming out all the time, all summer long. And I think all of it is here now. Inshore guys, they did not forget about you, right? Striped bass, great colors for these things. A little white marlin action. George Caldwell, you do some awesome artwork, bro. Really great designs. The jackets are in stock. They've got too many colors in this texture. This one is one of my favorites, right? Awesome stuff. Yellow, gray, we're patriotic on the back with the mahi. Really cool stuff. And look at the designs they've got now in trunks, right? Super cool, swimsuits. Wear those offshore, get them wet, they dry real fast. Tech shorts, guys fishing offshore, plier pockets, awesome camo designs here. And here's the best part about a couple of them. You like that color? Pretty cool, right? Pockets, ready to roll. You don't like that color? Have a little accident, get things straight. You can still go to the party. You ain't got to go home and take a shower. Boom! Pure lure gear, not only functional, super smart for the fisherman in you. And the other fisherman in you, guess what he wears? Costa sunglasses. <laughs> Came over here to the north side of the building, and what do you see on the north side of the building at Quiet Storm Surf Shop downtown? A thousand pair and the most impressive Costa cabinet I've ever seen. Are you a water woman? Want to be one? Bam, look at these things. They're coming out with some really great frames at Costa. Awesome lens choices, 400, 580 lenses, all sorts of different color options available. They're gonna have it here at Quiet Storm Surf Shop. Blackfin, this one's been out for a long time. I found this one years and years ago for big headed guys like me. Nice wide frame here on the side. 
Covers up that light coming in, great offshore frame. Coming out in all sorts of different color options. And the new stuff. Oh my, oh my. It's so fresh and so clean, and it's all right here at Quiet Storm Surf Shop. Come and ask for it by name, tell them we sent you, and stick around after the break. Hooked on OC is coming at you. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Speed World at Jolly Roger Park on 30th Street, one of America's largest, the area's fastest and baddest go-kart tracks. And now, with the lowest prices in Ocean City, Speed World, with 10 tracks and over 500 cars featuring the cyclone of five-story kart coaster, named by Fox News as one of the country's top new amusement attractions. Come to Speed World on 30th Street in Ocean City, fast and furious fun for the entire family. Now, with the lowest prices in Ocean City. Hi, my name is Stephen Fun, and this is my wife. Hi, Marjorie Fun. And these are the Fun Kids. We vacation in Ocean City, Maryland, because this town has our name written all over it. <laughs> fun, family of four, fun. <laughs> We're the funs, not the boorings. If you're looking for family fun, do what the Fun family does. Book a week in Ocean City, Maryland. Go to ococean.com, and don't miss free events like Sunset Park Party Nights. Did you know you can bring in your prescription to an optical galleria? Did you know an optical galleria has a lab and makes glasses right here in OC? Did you know an optical galleria is an authorized Costa RX dealer? It's simple. An optical galleria can help you see. If you want awesome old school customer service and hot new styles, bring your prescription in to an optical galleria today. The place to see and be seen. Make an optical galleria your destination for eyewear. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store. Showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, artificial lures and leads, apparel and eyewear from industry leaders like Connolly Fishing, Versatech, Bait Masters, Costa, Pelagic, Hook, Sperry, Mojo, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Hey! <laughs> Guys, if you're looking for a great time, that's one of our newest sponsors to Hooked on OC. It's the Tipsy Tiki's. It's absolutely awesome. 70 bucks, open bar, your crew. How could you do any better? We pass them back here behind Astig Island all the time. All right, so some bigger flounder have moved into the areas, and there's a bunch of small spot, it's a really small bunker, too small to even mess with a cast net, and some nice sized mullet that have been running around in these marshes. So I'm gonna take the cast net, we're gonna spend a couple of minutes over here, see if we can get some mullet, because that is absolute flounder candy. Uh, we're looking for little disturbances on the surface, just little skimmers like this where you can see the fish kind of finning by, birds maybe working on them or something, but they work in schools of 25 to a couple hundred and they cruise along these marshes looking for grass. If we can catch a couple, we might be in good shape for catching a bigger flounder. I've got a four foot cast net here. It's small, it's perfect for getting used to, practicing with. They make a great one from Betts. They sell at Atlantic Tackle. It's perfect for kids. It has a ring built into it, so it's pretty much dummy proof. And here's how I do it. Make sure you attach it to yourself so you don't throw it away. A couple of feet, a couple of feet, a couple of feet, a couple of feet until you get down to the neck of the net. Bring it straight up like this, make sure it's straight. I put the neck of the net about halfway down into these three fingers, my thumb and the first two fingers. Throw that overboard, pull this out, make sure it's gonna open properly. One of these goes in my mouth, the other one goes about one and a half arm lengths down the net. Then I'm ready to go. There, I got it. Yeah, there's a couple. Good man. Let's see if I can keep money for talking about MRIP. Yeah, there we go. Just talking about fishing instead. Alright, Dave, 
what we're going to do is we're going to go to the east channel north of the Route 50 bridge. The tide is now getting to be where I like it, where it's nice and slow. Yeah. Crowded day like today, um, there's going to be a bunch of boats there, so we'll have to keep it up and down, straight up and down. But when the tide slows down and you got good baits like this, good chance you catch some fish, especially when it's slack. So we'll fish there for the last part of the incoming tide once it stops, basically. Then we'll come back over here south of the bridge and we'll fish you out going tide. Sounds good. Hey, a couple of fans, what's up? So what we Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. You don't buy an ordinary chair for the beach, so why would you buy an ordinary air conditioner for the beach? Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. Hey guys, what's up? We're here with Luke from Sandmarks Marketing. He's here to tell us all about this awesome guy he's got ready for you to pick up in town. Luke, what's up? Hey Scott, how you doing? Thanks. Luke Howard from Sandmarks Marketing here to introduce the premier edition of uh, Destination Ocean City in the Delaware Beach. Got a great golf guide in here. Of course, you got something for the fishermen. I do. I also have spa, salon, and attractions for the wife and family, too. We're a comprehensive overview of the entire Delmarva area. Pick it up in your hotel room while you're in town. Look for the beach chair and you'll be there. Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateag Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. How much protection from the beach would you need to match the Arctic Air Coastal Series air conditioner? Still not enough. Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the show. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Hooked on OC. Right here at WMDT TV 47 every Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. And what, from what we hear, every Saturday afternoon around 12 or 1 o'clock. That's, pretty, That's cool. pretty cool. We are in one of my wife's favorite places. It's Park Place Jewelers <laughs> right here in the new Park Place Plaza. And I am this time with the lovely Jill Ferrante. How are you? I'm well, Scott. Thank you How are for you? I'm well. Thank you for joining us. Thank Todd you. is such a good looking guy that he makes me look bad on his own. But this is ridiculous. You look oh, fantastic. Thank you. You look fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thanks for coming in. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've, we've, we know. Look at this. Brand new from the wife. Uh huh. Uh -huh. New uh -huh. reactor watch. The ladies' version. New the reactor version. watch. Yes. This was my awesome birthday present. I absolutely okay. love it. Very nice. Um, you have them here in stock. We and do. what Todd says, new product coming in all the time. Every day. Every day. We are getting ready for the summer season. Uh, we put a little preview out here for you guys today. Um, as Scott mentioned, we've got our reactor watches. Yep both for the gents and for the ladies. Um, we don't want to exclude the ladies. We have a great selection. This is the mermaid watch, so look at all the colors. Um, but then um, you can see we have everything from tuna pendants to diamond uh, anchors. I'm wearing this lovely marlin pendant. That is gorgeous. Yeah, when Thank you came you. out wearing it with yeah. your outfit, it looks perfect because it kind of contrasts a little bit and pops off of your shirt. Thank you. But I was surprised by the price as well. That yeah. looks like a thousands of dollars piece and you said it's really affordable. It's very affordable. Okay. Um, so we've got lots of different price points. Um, this piece, of course, is a standout piece. Yeah. Um, you know, size does matter here, Scott, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, but as you can see, we have some other smaller pieces. We got your mahis. We have um, the bonefish, a little bit of everything for the ladies and the men. We've yep. got money clips. Um, I've got my tuna bracelet on. That's because, a very of nice course, one, yeah. 
We're going to be at the tuna tournament this weekend. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, yeah, we've got a little bit of everything from diamonds to silver. Come in and shop with us. This is kind of just a display of the fishermen in the, in the world because that's what we do. We're a fishing television show. Mm -hmm. So yes. this is something that guys out there that are mating on boats and fishing on boats and things that we're going to attract from the show. This is just a small portion of what you guys carry. You have so much stuff in here. I bought my wife rings here, uh, earrings here. Absolutely. You name it, you, you, you got it here. As far as jewelry is concerned, this just happens to be the stuff that you can jump off the boat looking like this. Right. And or come or in jump and, off Boat like <laughs> I don't know anybody's <laughs> jumping off a boat looking like that. Um, but, but yeah, it's a great selection, and the new spot is beautiful. Thank really you. gorgeous. Yeah, we've we've been here a little over seven months now, and it just is its home. Um, you know, we're right on Route 50 across from the Tanger Outlets in the new Park Place Plaza. Yeah. We've got great um, neighbors beside us, Tequila Mockingbird mm. and Dolly's Candy. So come shop with us and enjoy the whole facility. Are you starting to feel the rhythm now too? Customers coming to find you, that sort yeah. of thing. That's great. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. great. We see a lot of our um, yearly friends and family that come in through the summer and everyone's excited by the new space and um, also the variety of new products. We've got a lot of new designer lines that we've brought in, new watch lines, so I think everyone will love our new location. Yeah, I think you're right. And, and we're kind of partial to the Reactor series because they're such practical watches. I've got my other Reactor that we've got, we put one battery in in the course of I think eight or nine years mm -hmm. I've owned it now. This is my new favorite watch. Yeah, Kristen's Reactor great. is her new favorite watch, so they really are great watches. Right. And the Money Clips and the other jewelry that you've got in the fishing uh, genre let's say is really good stuff. Um, what's the phone number people get in touch with? 410-213-9220 uh, and we're open every day at 10 a.m. most days 10 to 9 so come check us out. If you're on your way into Ocean City it's on the right hand side of the road on the eastbound lane Park Place Plaza come check them out beautiful jewelry store here in West Ocean City and if you're in town for the Ocean City Tuna Tournament make sure you check them out Saturday and Sunday they'll also be at the White Marlin Open at Harbor Island when the White Marlin Open is in town August 5th through the 9th. Jill thanks very much. Thanks very much guys. guys we'll see you in just a second with a little bit more Hooked on OC. Hooked on OC we'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Sr. Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. Looking for a reliable home improvement contractor can be tough. Some won't return your calls and others don't even show up. Not with Eastern Shore Contracting. We show up. Roofing and painting to full home remodels count on us to complete the job on time and on budget. I'll beat any estimate from any licensed contractor. The project ran like clockwork and I'm really happy with the results. For a limited time, take $1,000 off a new roof. Think Eastern Shore Contracting for all your home improvements. We show up. When it comes to offshore fishing equipment, Okaya means value. Like the 80 offshore combo for 730 and the 50 offshore combo for 530. Call Sophia at 443-880-2222 or check them out at okaya.com. Come visit the villas at Inlet Isle, located at 13,000 Marina View Drive in the much sought after location of West Ocean City, Maryland. These 3,000 square foot solid concrete block constructed, well appointed luxury townhomes offer incredible Cinepuxent Bay, Ocean City skyline, and Marina Views with a southern exposed heated community pool, bathhouse, and outdoor shower, and much more. For more information or to schedule a private showing, contact Celeste Dodson at 443 235 3834. Don't miss out on this rare opportunity. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. And now back for more Hooked on OC. There's one nice and quiet. Hey Dave, get your rig tied on yet? <laughs> oh, you're there showing off. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do it nice and quiet. How am I with the bridge? No, we're good. 
Wait, you bragging with a throwback? Yeah, I wasn't bragging. I'm not bragging. I'm not bragging. I'm not bragging. It's amazing how aggressive flounder are. These fish, that fish is probably 11, 12 inches long. Look at him going nuts. And he just ate a mullet about five inches long. And I'm not going to mess with him too badly here, but just a, Dave and I were talking about a little while ago. Look how big his mouth can open up, even a fish this small. There's no problem him getting that five inch mullet in there because his mouth will open up to two inches across. And if you look at the fish, that's probably 15 to 20 percent of his body length. Really aggressive predator down there. Stomach is nice and full even on this small one. There is tons of bait back in this bay. Shiners, mullet, minnows, spot, bunker, you name it. There's a lot of stuff back here for him to feed on. And we have gotten off to a great flounder season here in Ocean City. Our good friend Dave Sikorsky from the CCA joining me today. Tide's getting ready to go out. Hopefully it turns on here. Got the text from John Prater this morning that said these words and simply these words. Snug Harbor, get here. The bite was on. So, after waiting an uh, hour or two for our cameraman to show up, we finally able to get out here. Just kidding. Uh, finally able to get out here and soon enough, sure enough, we catch a fish right off the bat. Um, but it started to slow down there a little bit. The fog lifted and some bigger fish have been uh, staging up here around the Route 50 bridge, East Channel area. So we made a move up here after catching some uh, some couple of spot and some mullet because these larger fish will lay in these deeper channels like the East Channel here and they like bigger baits. Spot, mullet, bunker in this size range, inch and a half to maybe four inches. I've caught big flounder on baits as big as six or seven inches, but that's a little bit too much because they have to sit there and choke it down and you gotta wait, wait, wait. I'd much rather catch some throwbacks and then hopefully catch a big fish rather than catch nothing and maybe catch a big fish. So we're gonna move up the bay a little bit here, right off the ball field. The channel gets to about 30 feet deep. Might be some big ones laying in there. And it's not too crowded today, not yet. Fourth of July, if you couldn't tell from our attire. <laughs> Patriotic theme. Uh, but it's going to be busy this afternoon, so we want to catch a couple of fish and get out of here. All right, we're going to stop up here maybe 40, 50 feet off the bulkhead. If you're out here fishing, guys, be wary of people that are fishing over there. Yeah, what's up? Be, people, be wary of people that are fishing over there on the bulkhead, okay? That's a free bulkhead. You don't have to pay for a license to fish off the bulkhead behind 2nd, 3rd, 4th Street. And you need to be wary if you're out here in a boat with lines that are out here because sometimes those folks don't have a boat. They're not He's fortunate enough to have a boat. And if they're fans of the show, you better be looking out for them. <laughs> <laughs> what was he saying? I don't know. He's saying something to us. So we're going to pull up here in a spot where there's not too much activity on the, on the bulkhead. We're going to drop it in here. And since we came in here first, hopefully they'll be gracious as well. And if pulls in here, they'll wait for us to get out of the way. But good spot. Drop a couple of mullets down, see what happens. All right, setup time. So I've got my, my new JPR custom rod here. I love this thing. It's the new color. It's got my fishing OC yellow and blue on it. I've got the hooked on OC rod back in the uh, garage right now, but this one just happened to have a reel on it ready to go. I've got this CR10 from Canyon. Really enjoy this thing, man. Great for fishing back here in the bay. Cork handle on the rod. I've got 30 pound braid on here. I put the wind on big handle on here, but this is a great low profile bait caster. Perfect for flounder fishing back here in the back bay. I've got our deadly double on here in chartreuse. And these mullet aren't bit too big where I can't put one on the deadly double. That allows me to have two hooks down there. I've got a little uh, crayfish up there that I'm trying to act like a, uh, uh, what you call it from back there in the bay. Oh, hold on, let me get him hooked. Let's do mullet first. Let's do mullet right behind the lips. Not too far back, just like you would a minnow so he stays alive. Look at that thing, that is absolutely beautiful. All right, back to my top bait. I put this little crayfish on here because there's a heck of a lot of grass shrimp in the back bay. And that looks like a grass shrimp. No two ways about it. Tide's nice and slow. We'll get a nice slow drift. Maneuver the boat around here or there. Hopefully get a bite. Unless you drop the horseshoe. There's crab. no head shaking at all. It's gotta be yeah, a crab. It's probably, a, it's probably a crab. Nothing now. Something. Oh, that was a crab. You just let go. Dave, Silly crabs. Sure sign. Tell them why it's a crab. You know that? How you that check the evidence of that for a crab? It's like you bit it in half, That's right? A crab will take his pinchers and grab that mullet just like this. Chomp! I want to get a bite of that. Wow! So he'll grab it just like that, and he'll pinch it right in half. A flounder's gonna grab it, like ooh, like this. One. Oh! The flounder's gonna grab it with an open mouth and those teeth that are more like grasping teeth. They're sharp, but they can't cut through. So they'll grab it like this. 
and if you pull it away from them, it'll scale them right off. It'll pull all the scales off of it, but it won't pinch it in half like a crab will or bite it in half like a bluefish would. So we put that back or is that? That's dead. That's done. Nope, switch him out. All right, so here's just what I was talking about. While I was explaining what was going on with Dave's mullet, as far as the crab pinching through it, I thought I was getting a flounder bite. You saw that, and I was. Just like I explained, perfect example here on how that flounder grabbed a hold of it but didn't get up to the point of the hook. And as he came away, he let go of it and pulled the scales off both sides of that mullet. He's still fine to use, he's still kicking, but flounder definitely grabbed a hold of him. And I didn't pull it away or anything, he just said, oh, something's up. I don't want that. Stay there. It's something. I was hung up, and now just no head shaking, just heavy weight. All right, you probably pulled something out of it. I either got a rock or a. No, what I got there? Horseshoe crab? No, skate. No horseshoe crab. Horseshoe yeah. crab. Hmm. All right, so you know that thing's from happen fast. Let's take care of this first. Alrighty, folks. This is the horseshoe crab. You see him on the beach, West Ocean City places that got especially. This is one of the oldest living organisms on the planet Earth. I don't want my flounder getting away. Come on in the boat, Charlie. One of the oldest living things on planet Earth. These things are ancient. They use their blood for all kinds of things, cancer research and that sort of thing. Dave, watch this. You ever let one bite you, like get you claw you? Nope. Watch this. They'll grab you. Oh God, oh God, oh! Just kidding. No damage, no, nothing happens. They don't pinch like a blue crab. They can, it just feels like a little, little itchy massage, right? No big deal. So if you get a hook in there, you can reach in there, grab it out. Not going to do any damage to the, to the fish. Super, super cool. Bye bye. Now to the flounder. Ate the bottom hook on my deadly double with that little mullet on there. Right, Looking. Yeah. Thanks for coming. I'm here all week. Looking for 16 and a half. Oh, let's do this right. He's another close one. Here's how the DNR is going to measure it, so here's how you should too. Find a flat spot, get an angled board like this. That way you know that his nose is right on zero. Hold him down flat and push him out to the end here. I don't know what I did wrong. The past two days I've been fishing, I've caught three fish that were 16 and probably, what do you, what's the number there that's closest to half without being a half? 16 and 3 eighths? <laughs> 16 and, 16 and 7 sixteenths? That's what this one is. Big, fat, healthy fish, but just not big enough to keep. Good, get the little I didn't do that on purpose, buddy. Ta-ta. Small fish, small fish, no, small fish alert. Small fish alert. Fish on, Dave. Here we go. All right. Oh, shorty. Hey, Captain John. Wow. Switch to pink. There we go, look at that. Both shorts, but tide's getting right, man. Deadly double's doing the work. Chartreuse on mine, I catch a short. Dave switched to pink, he catches short. Unbelievable how these little flounder this big are eating five, six inch bullets. But we're catching fish, so we'll take it. Oh. Stay tuned after the break for a little bit more Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Wow. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Whether it's a chart plot or fish finder combo for your inshore bay boat, or a complete electronics package including radar, plotter, thermal imaging camera, autopilot or sonar, East Coast Marine Electronics can handle it all. Veteran owned and operated, give Chad a call at 443-880-7206 or email at chad at eastcoastmarineelectronics.com.
Hi, my name is Stephen Fun, and this is my wife. Hi, Marjorie Fun. And these are the Fun Kids. We vacation in Ocean City, Maryland, because this town has our name written all over it. <laughs> fun, family of four, fun. <laughs> We're the Funs, not the Borings. If you're looking for family fun, do what the Fun family does. Book a week in Ocean City, Maryland. Go to OCOcean.com and don't miss free events like movies on the beach. We want you to have a great time. There have never been so many things to do in Ocean City, Maryland. All summer long, you'll find fun things for the whole family to enjoy. All for free in Ocean City. From the inlet to Northside Park, join us for free concerts, movies, and fireworks on the beach, along with Family Beach Olympics and more. There is something free to enjoy almost every day of the week. Come have a great time with us in Ocean City, Maryland. Go to OCOcean.com for more information on free family fun and events. Termites can strike without warning, coming up and damaging support structures of your home undetected for years. That's why it's vital to have termite protection you can trust. At Bennett Termite and Pest Solutions, besides our great service, we also stand behind our termite defense programs, from a chemical treatment to our termite bait station system. Help Bennett Termite and Pest Solutions make Delmarva termite free again. Remember Delmarva, quality isn't expensive, it's priceless. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47. It's Angler's Advantage time. We are here on the deck at Atlantic Tackle right outside to the south. And I'm here to talk to you about something exciting. You guys have seen the show a little bit. We haven't gone kayak fishing in a very, very long time. But there's a new tournament that's hit the area that was really well received this past weekend. And now they've got them here at Atlantic Tackle. I'm with Rob Field. Yep. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, Thanks likewise. for joining us. Really appreciate you joining us. Happy to be here. So the, the saltwater fishing paddle, fishing paddle, saltwater slam yep. went on. Yep. Really well received. Had over 30 anglers. They paid out over $7,000. Yeah. And the kayak buzz down here is catching on really, really well. Um, Atlantic Tackle here is going to take advantage of that, and they've picked up this line of lightning kayaks. Right. So we want to talk to you about it, man. What's the deal? Yeah, totally. Well, so I fish from a kayak for a living, do a YouTube show. So I'm in these things all the time, and I had someone approach me asking, you know, we want to make kind of the ultimate fishing kayak at a price people can afford. And so that's, better what, to ask, right? that's what we've done. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. So this is the Lightning Kayak Strike. It is designed for fishing. You can also use it recreationally if you just want to go out bird watching, photography, okay. just to kind of enjoy some time in the sun. But it's decked out. It's got uh, kind of track rails here. You can mount all kinds of accessories. They got camera booms, rod holders, safety flags, something to hold your cell phone, all that kind of stuff. Okay, great. Really the magic is this right here. So traditionally, if you wanted to go kayak fishing, you've got to paddle, right? And really to paddle efficiently, you need to have good form. You need to know what you're doing. We kind of said, forget that. Yeah. It's not very accessible. This right here, this is called the Freedom Drive. You pedal it with your feet, move these back and forth, and that's going to give you forward propulsion. And then you've got a rudder that drops down in the back. Left is left, right is right. Super simple. So anyone can hop in this thing it's and complete, go. Completely paddle-less. Well, yeah, it's always good to have a, a paddle with you. I don't mean not in yeah, the boat. Yeah, just <laughs> yeah, in yeah. case, right. right. But yeah, no need to paddle. <laughs> yep. So that's the beauty of it, it's hands-free. So you can keep your hand on your fishing rod, you can pedal into the current, under the bridge while you're working for yeah. flounder or whatever you may be doing. I see models like this all the time at the trade shows I travel to in the wintertime, and they're $3,500, $4,000, right. something like that. This sounds way more affordably priced. Seventeen fifty, so about half. Like about this half with half. the seat and everything. Correct. Not the Yeti yeah. cooler. We put the Yeti, the Yeti uh, box in here yeah. for presentation. But um, yeah. what does it come with? Does it come with the yeah? So the it comes with pedals, the, the seat, everything. With the drive, the seat. Yep, it's got C deck flooring. It's going to be real comfortable when you're yep. standing up. This thing is super stable. You could pop right up on it. I'd have the utmost confidence. You can stand Careful up. Careful what you say, man. And then <laughs> <laughs> choose your next words carefully. Yeah, pop right up is what I meant. And you can stand up and uh, you know. Paddle with you know that's why it's good to have a paddle. Sure. I like to stand up if I'm especially if I'm fishing somewhere shallow, sight yep. cast, yep. stand up and paddle. But yeah, super stable, got tons of storage up front, more storage in the back, take everything you need with you, 
got a flyby coming to take take a look at it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all the rage right yeah. now. All sorts of hatches and stuff that I noticed too with the elastic cords to keep everything nice and tight close yeah. to you so you can get to it. So this is called a sit-on-top kayak where traditionally you're inside of a kayak yeah. and if water comes over the sides, you're filling up, which is never ideal. No. With this, it's self-bailing. So if you're out in some chop, it's windy, boat wake, whatever, water comes over the side, it just drains right out, wow. which means that this thing's hollow. So there is storage inside of here. So we got a hatch liner in there, a kind of bucket to keep stuff, but actually you could store rods all the way down on the inside of this hole for transport. Or I've actually done eight day kayaking trips where I lived on something like this, wow. fishing my way down the river for eight days. So, so because it's completely contained and all the air is inside, you'd have to damage it pretty well to, to have it going sinking. Yeah. You'd, you'd fill up with water, yeah, something float. catastrophic happened wow. if, you, yeah, if you're That's having that issue. That's impressive too. Yeah. I noticed this, made in the USA, man. Everybody loves that. Yep, made yep. in Minnesota. Everyone. Minnesota, very good. Yeah. So which they're going to have the one model that Lightning carries here at Atlantic Tackle. They come in a couple different colors or Correct. something? Correct, yeah. Okay. This is the Lightning Kayak Strike. It comes in this camo color here, and then this blue one that's down here behind us. Yep. All right, so if you want to see it in person, you can come in and check it at Atlantic Tackle right across the street from Sunset Grill, right down the road from Sunset Marina, right here on Sunset Avenue. Sunset's a popular name around Such here. Such a killer shot. Um, if people want to go check out accessories and things like that that they might not have here at Atlantic Tackle, but they want to add on, where do they go to check that out? Yeah, sure. Well, I think that they're going to be offering some accessories here okay, also. Okay, very good. Yeah, very good. Make they usually do. They like shop. to have things right here so you can pick them up and Absolutely. go with them, rod I'd holders and that sort of thing. Come here and ask them, and if they don't have what, what you need, and they'll, they'll, they'll know where to okay. tell you how to get it. Very good. Yeah. Atlantic Tackle, you know where to find us. You know where to find us right after this in just a second for a little bit more Hooked on OC. Atlantic Tackle 410-213. Remind me of the other part of the number, 410-213-0421. AtlanticTackle.com. See you in just a second for a little bit more Hooked on OC. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry. Combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. Sometimes, all you have to do is read the signs. Miller Lite has more taste, fewer calories, and half the carbs of Bud Light. What are you holding? Miller Lite. Hold true. At Spencer Yachts, your ideas can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style and tradition of boat building with a unique look and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Check out Spencer Yachts currently for sale and all other sport fishing yachts available for sale with Spencer Yachts Brokerage at SpencerYachtsInc.com. Now back for more Hooked on OC. small fish that got even smaller. <laughs> there it is. Telltale sign of a flounder that got off. 
That means he was grabbed on, looks like up to the point of his head because he popped his eyeball out of the socket. But he wasn't on there enough to get the point of the hook in him. The drift has sped up. We're a little bit faster than we were a couple minutes ago, so Dave and I are going to have to drop him back a little bit now, wait to set the hook, that sort of thing, because if you just zoom, yank it, we're already drifting by at a knot and a half or so, and that fish is sitting still waiting to ambush. So when he comes up, boom, if you try and pull it away, it's going to be going away a lot faster than it should be. So got to wait a little while when the tide gets ripping a bit. Got some people catching small flounder and sea bass and things over here on the bulkhead. Beautiful, beautiful day here in Ocean City. What would you rather be doing? Dave, what would you rather be doing? Not a thing in the world, my Me friend. neither, man. I don't feel any head shake again, Dave. I've caught fish that didn't shake their head before, but this don't feel like one. Oh, oh horseshoe oh, crabs friend. are thick. That's why you tickle them. They want to come Let back me tell you folks something. Be careful. Here's what I was about to do, and I remember my own, my own tip. When you're pulling this thing towards you, don't do this. See all the bend in my rod, and I'm about to sling this thing in the boat? Because he can fall off, and then guess what? 100 miles an hour, you got a deadly double hanging out of your nose. Pull it beside the boat like that so there's no tension on the line with a rubber band coming back in your face. And to get these guys off, grab them by the tail, hang them upside down, and then just take your time getting them off. Like I told you before though, they're not going to do any damage if you do have to get in here. These are not down there grabbing baits. They're not picking mullet up as they run by trying to grab them for food. We're just drifting by and having to snag them. But there must be a bunch down there because that's two Dave and I have snagged in just a couple of minutes. Ancient creature right here in Ocean City. Not unlike Dave Sikorsky. <laughs> Crab man. I'm the crab man today. Grab you on your sinker. Sponders. Boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. You got there. I got a mullet on. It's, he's just pulling pretty good. Sometimes they, they pull harder than they really are. I think that's dinner, Mr. Mr. Lance. Hey, you're good luck! <laughs> I am hard. <honored. laughs> Alright, man, it's worth the spot. Worth the spot. There we go. Let me give a little bump. Alright, man. There it was. Bottom hook. A little nibble nibble. Bill Brittingham goes by. Sheds me a little luck. Nice flat fish. Nice flounder. Let's tell the tale here. Literally. Nose against the board. Pull him back. Oh, 17 and a half, Dave. Do the flounder dance. That's just one of them, man. That's just one of them. <laughs> Is that my problem? I don't dance? Yeah, maybe. You start, right, why right. don't you pull a dance and see if you can catch a fish? All right, all right. Why you're trying to call me? Uh oh, what you got? <laughs> Ling. Oh, you take a Yes, no? Come on, get yes. up. Yeah, get up here. I'm not in a trade show or tournament or something. Right. There you go. Another gut hooked one. Flyers. Pretty rig right there. I think so. Made a little move back to the south where the bite was this morning. Caught a couple fish up there north of the bridge, which was nice. Um, but these mullet will also work back here in some of these deeper holes along the marshes and stuff. Boat's literally parked right down the road here. So this is a short run home, just a couple of minutes. And the tide down there by the bridge is really running fast. So with the crowd of boats that's up there, I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about every other Yahoo out here on the water. So with the tide running that fast up there and the boat traffic, 
thought it was a better idea to come back down here and try our last couple of drifts south bay um, and see if we can pull a flounder out of one of these deeper holes behind Asti. I love this little drift right here. Good there's spot. A deep, yeah, there's a, there's a drop off from the, see the sandbar over here? Mm -hmm. Sandbar comes over. Oh, 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 Whoa! Let me explain things first. <laughs> What was he doing? Drop off? Oh yeah, looks like it'll keep. Sideways, looks like it'll keep. Right. Oh. Where do you go, CCA? Yeah, baby. <laughs> little flounder dinner. Yeah, man. Look at this. Yeah. What did you say you want to tell, tell them Paralichthys dentatus? Did you know that scientific name for flounders? Paralichthys dentatus? I did not. That sounds a little complicated for me. Right. Look at that. Beautiful summer flounder. Perfectly hooked. Looks like it was done on purpose almost. Look at that, beautiful fish. Beautiful. Looking for 16 and a half. How am I on the marsh, Dave? Am I gonna run into anything? No, you're good. Let me you're give it a little, little back, because we're going that way. Don't run into the marsh, folks. My boat's flat and I could ease right on up there, but it wouldn't look good. All right, 16 and a half. I'll say we go, eight, I think 18 on that one. 18? Yeah, I'll give you that, 17 and a half, 18. Nose into the front of the board, nice measuring device here. I'll meet you in the middle. 17 and three quarters. Take it. Woo! Take it. Dude, that's a great fish to end on. Yes, sir. We've caught some good ones. I'm about to run into the marsh. <laughs> Let's head on back to the dock. Close this thing out. Beautiful day. See you in a second. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs. And now back for more Hooked on OC. So we are back. Boat is parked in the slip. Successful day of flounder fishing here in Ocean City. Nice work, brother. Good day. Always enjoy hanging out with you. And when we're fishing, it's even better. So I appreciate your company very much. 
Um, let's talk CCA for a minute. So tell me, tell me so the listeners and watchers know what CCA does and how do they get on board if they want to join Absolutely. and become a member. Yeah, so CCA is Coastal Conservation Association. I'm the director of Maryland State Chapter. And so back in about 1977, a group of guys got together that were recreational anglers, cared about the resource and notice of decline on the Texas Gulf Coast, and they created the Gulf Coast Conservation Association. Yeah. So it turned into CCA, um, and chapters have spread to nearly every coastal state in the country. Uh, so we're the nation's largest just membership organization that's made up of recreational anglers. So cool we keep stuff. yeah we keep an yeah. eye out for uh, recreational anglers throughout all the different management bodies and the different different uh, government jurisdictions. We run fishing tournaments. We have local chapters. Do kids events. Uh, we also build a lot of habitat in the Chesapeake Bay. Um, we do That's reef balls. Definitely a good thing. Yep, yep. Yep. So we you know partner with guys like our good friend Lonnie Hawkins from Ocean yep. City Reef Foundation. Yep. We're doing a similar thing in the bay. Um, we build something called a reef ball, a concrete structure that uh, creates habitat mm -hmm. for fish and crabs and oysters. Yep. And, That's where it starts. Yeah. Man. And we have young kids doing that uh, throughout the state too. Ah, so, cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Big program called the Living Reef Action Campaign. That's my favorite part of my job. Uh, working out there to improve fishing so that's what it, that's what we do and yeah. uh, yeah. Uh, some of you don't know Dave is also on the um, Maryland Sport Fish Advisory Commission with me we go over to their meetings what is it four times a year yes, four sir. times a year yep. we go over there we talk about Maryland regulations sheep's head regulation that's coming this way in the future stripers is a hot topic right now what's gonna happen in 2020 with that I'm um, actually gonna have a couple of meetings down here in Ocean City to get feedback from coastal anglers on what they we'd like to do and some of us are thinking maybe try and do some conservation equivalency and get a little bit smaller fish certain times of the year so that's in the cards but that's what Dave and I do outside of this part of the fishing world where we're talking about fisheries management, size limits, creel limits, and all that sort of thing. Kind of the behind the scenes action that he and I are involved with. Bro, like I say, always enjoy your company. Absolutely. Even when we hang out in Annapolis. Um, nice work. Happy right? Independence Day. You get both Day. of these. Happy Independence Day to you and yours. It's already going by, right? But you can't, hey look, you can turn it back on and rewatch it and get right back into the mood, right? How's this? Signing off? <laughs> Bro, fish high five. We do it every time we have at least two keepers. Right on, buddy. <laughs> Folks, we'll see you next time for another episode of Hooked on OC. We appreciate you watching very much. Join us on Instagram and Facebook. It's Hooked on OC both places. And if you're looking for my daily fishing report, it's fishingoc.com, the daily angle. See you online. See you on TV next time. Peace out.